Alright, hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. The Mile High Club. Exciting. Dangerous. Disgusting. Wrong. Germs. Children nearby. Germs. Wrong. Disgusting. Also, for single people, it's nearly impossible to initiate. Not anymore, my randy friends. There's an app for that. It's called Wingman, and it connects you with attractive people on your flight. The app is currently still in beta, but creator Whaley spills the simple deets saying it works a lot like Tinder, which is a great way to establish the app will showcase the best of humanity. The biggest difference from Tinder is that Wingman features info about the airline and flight each user is on. That way, it's easier to match up willing hornies according to the flight they're on. It also allows them to chat with other creepers nearby and probably be followed and looked at weird. That sounds great. Awesome. It's the future, kids. You want to get sexy in a super gross airplane bathroom? Now you don't have to shadily order drink after drink to an on the fence yet lonely and desperate gross person to maybe have awkward gross plane sex. Think of the children. There's kids on that plane and dads who haven't had sex in like years. And then they're hearing you have gross sex. And they're like, oh, I wanna have gross sex. So the app might actually be a little more tongue in cheek than it appears. Even the creator himself says it's incredibly unrealistic that people will actually have sex on a plane because of his app, downer. But the official website definitely encourages sky high sexy time activities. It even boasts how easy and less awkward it is to initiate a little tongue in cheek action on board with the app. Mm, I see what you did there. A little tongue in cheek action on the plane means that they're gonna, maybe it's like a salad toss. So with all that said, it really does seem like this can be chocolate up to another one of those humanity revealing apps where anyone can get a date <clears throat> except you except you except you except you so the final verdict is it's a fun idea and it really could result in people hooking up once the plane lands in a slightly less filthy or more filthy hotel room away from children and the poor unsuspecting elderly who don't know what's going on and don't really know where they are. And don't know why there's weird sex sounds happening around them. And who knows, maybe a legit relationship could spawn from the app. Probably not. Yeah. So do you guys think the Mile High Club is awesome or disgusting? Let us know in the comments down below. There's also a like and subscribe button down there that you can click on, that'd be cool. And also there's an annotation full of cool things to click on too. So many things to click on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna click on first? Hopefully you like. And then subscribe. <laughs> I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Oh, gross. So many gross dating apps and tongue stuff. Tongue and cheek. It's just like. Yes, it was like tongue and cheek. Tongue and cheek was butt.